folks. Have a good day, New York. They're getting ready to go back to school. This season can be very stressful. Stressful. Preparing yourself, getting your kids ready to head back to school is a tall task. Getting back into the swing of things is never easy. But happiness expert Danny DeNovo De is here to help with tips for both parents and kids to deal with anxiety. Danny DeNovo joins us right now on the Good Day Couch. Thank you for joining us. It's so good to be with you. So before we get into this, just give me a little bit about your background and how you became a happiness expert. Well, I was a lawyer and I was living the life that I thought everyone wanted to live, but I was miserable and I knew I was miserable. I just didn't know how to change it. Then I had my daughter and when she was about a year old, I caught her copying me, mimicking me one day. And I said, yeah, just like mommy. <laughs> but as soon as those words came out of my mouth, I almost fainted on top of her because I realized she was copying me and I was showing her how to live this very uninspired, unhappy life. So I told her right then and there, I'm going to learn how to be happy just so you can be happy. And then, of course, it changed my life as well. That's a great background. It kind of leads us to where we're going with school starting back up. You can use the lessons of how you act and react to kind of help your kids make that transition going back to school, right? Well, if you show me an anxious kid, I'll show you an anxious parent. Mm -hmm. So you really do have to model the behavior for yourself and for your child, for your family, for everyone around you. So, Danny, have some tips for us, some uh, tools that we can use? I have a little kit that I carry around with me to help my daughter when she's going through a moment of anxiety. Just little tricks to help you, all grounded in science to help you just settle down a little bit. And the first thing is a makeup brush or a nail brush. And you can take this yeah. and you can just push it across your ear. Oh, so, ear? Yeah, Perfect. your ear. So tactile Tickles. stimulation of your ear yeah, <laughs> triggers your parasympathetic nervous system, which makes you calmer and more relaxed and gets rid of that fight or flight feeling. I oh. like that. That's a fun little trick. It is. What it else? Is. And this is cute. This is called a breathing necklace. So kids can put it around their neck, hide it in their shirt. No one even needs to know that they have it when they're in school. And it doesn't make any noise, so that's a really good thing. I thought it looked like a whistle, but right, it's not, but it's right? Not. Okay. So, you know, you tell your kid, just take a deep breath, take a deep breath, and what do they do? They just get more anxious. Well, this gives them something to focus on physically and to touch, but when they use this, they can just breathe into it and slow down their breathing. And when you slow your breathing, your heart rate comes down, your blood pressure comes down, and everything follows suit. Where do you get something like that? You can get these all over the place, but I actually have them on my website if you want to go in there and grab okay. them. They're really simple. Anything else in the bag? Yes, I have some scents. I have eucalyptus, and sometimes I use lavender. Eucalyptus actually helps with mood disorders and depression and anxiety. Hmm. And there was a study done with lavender on pregnant women when they were going into labor, and it showed that it actually helped them with stress and anxiety while giving birth to a child. So these things just trigger the same sort of things, help you settle down a little bit. Uh, lip balm. There's a reason why we carry these things around. Our lips are not that dry. When you trigger those little nerve endings in your lips, again, triggers the parasympathetic nervous system. Things calm down, just really easy to keep in your pocket. And then I like to keep around crystals just as like a calming stone because when you massage like this, it's the same thing when you would get a massage. Right. It releases those happy hormones and it lowers cortisol. And you can just keep this in your pocket. Can I try, Danny? Of course. Um, I feel a little bit happier. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, Foods, too, kind of go along with that, right? Sugar feeds and fuels anxiety. So no sugar in the morning, high protein in the morning. I also don't let my daughter get any screen time before she goes to school because I find that that will just increase the anxiety right before she walks out the door. That's not a good thing for her. We, yesterday, we had... Uh the one-time New Jersey Teacher of the Year on. And one of the things she talked about, especially going back to school, is getting kids into a regular sleep routine. Do you find that that obviously works for you as well? Sleep routine is huge because mm -hmm. well, when you're tired, you just can't mm -hmm. handle your emotions and the stressors of life in general. But it also helps reset all of those systems, keep those hormones in check. So, you know, everything's functioning on the level that we need it to biologically. So when life comes at you, you're ready. I love that you also have this shake it off theory. Like, I keep thinking of the Taylor Swift song yes, shake it off. That's a great song. Is, is that right? It is. <laughs> okay, is that what you're talking about? I like do. What? I physically shake it out because when you do that, you take that nervous and, and anxious energy and you transform it into movement. Mm. And then you can visualize taking it out of your system and putting it somewhere else. Just literally get it off you. You know, some of these are, are, are big picture theories about how to help kids, but each kid's different. Like, how do you, you know, maybe one kid likes this, another kid likes something different. How do you tailor it? to each individual kid, or, or is that important? It is, it's trial and error. So I say, 
figure out what works for you and your children and then keep those things handy with you so you can always go to them. One thing that works for my daughter every time when she's having a really anxious moment is I'll pull out a riddle and it just ha makes her mind go somewhere else, gets her off that cycle of thinking, that anxious cycle, mm. and she's back into, oh, okay, well, let me Aww. play with this. Let That's me think daughter? about that. That's my daughter, yeah. <laughs> so sweet. Danny, these are great uh, suggestions. How can people find you, by the way? You can go to my website, dannydenovo.com. All right. All right, thank you for the tips. Thank you. We appreciate well, it. Thank you. Good luck with the new school year. Do you have a riddle for us before you go? Yes. Okay. The more you take, the more you leave behind. What is it? The more you take, the more you leave behind. Uh, love? That's a good guess. Mm -hmm. Footsteps. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. There we go. See, you weren't even okay. thinking about anything you're else. You're thinking physical, <laughs> I'm thinking metaphysical. Right. It all works, though. Thanks, Dan. A good one. That Thank you. Fun. We appreciate it.